Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Daniel, this is Hammock Mountain. Uh, we got us a little deal here. My wife is asleep. I don't want to wake her up, so I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. I am going day camping. Uh, never done it before, but I think I'm pretty much set up to do it. It's pretty cold. Uh, I've got some deer watching me. If you see them back there. Hey, deer. Yep, they're in the background watching me. We got a little bit of snow on the ground. Hey, deer. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Oh, there they go. Oh, well. All right. We'll see. Uh, like I said, I've never done a day camp before. But I've got a tent that I've had for a while. Uh, I've never camped in it on camera. Never camped in it during the day. But it's a blackout tent. So I think it'll work. But it is... Uh, right now, I think it's about 29 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not really familiar with Celsius, but I will look that up and put it on the screen. But like I said, we got a little snow on the ground. There was a lot, much, a lot more this morning, but it's pretty much melted off. Bright sunshine today. But I figured while my wife sleeps, I was up, I don't know, she worked last night, so I was up most of the night uh, doing stupid stuff. And, well, not stupid stuff. A lot of it, I was watching Stealth Camping Alliance uh, videos on YouTube. So that's not stupid stuff. That's, that's uh, really entertaining. And uh, pretty much that's what kept me up all night. Anyway, hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. Remember that. If you don't know what Stealth Camping Alliance is, just search the hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. There is a lot of creators, a lot of good videos, funny videos, informative videos. Uh, pretty much something for everybody's taste. I am right between some houses. Let's see. I don't know if you can see this. There is. Get over here close. All right. I don't know if you can see behind me. They're outside over here, so I have to be quiet. All right, let's see. If you can see out there, there's three houses in there. And then, of course, hang on. I have to be quiet out here. All right, let's turn the camera around here. There's another house right. Right over there behind me. So, so we're gonna ease through here. Uh, see if we can find a way back here where I'm trying to go. I 
I guess this is what you call daytime stealth camping. There's a really good spot right back here. I think what I'm going to do is set up a tent and talk a little bit about the January challenge that was given out by Survival Sam. Once again, if you don't know who Survival Sam is, search Survival Sam on YouTube. He's got a good channel. Uh, has some good stuff. Let's see here. I am, I'm actually right here in the middle of town. There's some woods here in the middle of town, but I'll put a, I'll see if I can drop a pin right where I am. Uh, show you a little bit. Oh, hang on, we got stuff to look at right here. There is a fence right there. There's no trespassing sign. There is no no trespassing signs. Uh, the fence is old, and if you look right here, the fence is gone. So I am not trespassing. But we're going to go out through here and take a look. And then we're going to find a spot to set the tent up. And I just happened up on something back here that I didn't know was here. I hope there's nobody in this. wonder it didn't roll down the hill yeah all the windows are closed so there's nobody in it I'm gonna slide down the hill myself all right we're gonna open a window take a look in guys there was nothing in there so we're gonna zip it back up pretend we never saw it so I'll give you a little look around here show you what it looks like all right there is a house right up there and then got woods all around and there's town there's houses everywhere actually there's houses just over this hill here so that that'll show you a little bit more about where we're at and then there's the hunting blind again so we're going to ease back out of here Beautiful day today though, even though it is chilly. It's clear out here where I'm gonna set this tent up, but it's not in view of any homes. So I think it's a pretty good spot. I 
think I'll set up right in there. That looks like a pretty good spot. talk to you a little bit about why I like this tent and then we'll go into some other stuff uh, one thing why I like this tent and why I brought it today because you see how bright it is this is why I like it uh, you get a little bit of light in here but you would never know it's as bright as what it actually is uh, you can Unzip here. You got your bug net outside, but it's a blackout tent. And with the sun shining straight, straight in front of it, it's still dark enough I can sleep in here. So, what I plan to do is, I don't know, about a three hour nap is about all I can get because she'll call me and She'll probably call me and want to know where I'm at and why I'm not there when she gets up. So, we'll get us a little nap in. Make up for last night. Staying up late watching YouTube videos. That's the one thing about YouTube, though. You don't get in trouble. You just get good content. Uh, especially when you're watching uh, videos from Stealth Camping Alliance. But anyway, this is my little one-man... Uh, Improved Combat Shelter. Uh, it's USGI Improved Combat Shelter. And uh, I noticed in a recent video, another Stealth Camping Alliance member had one. I believe it was Nicholas Durr. Uh, so I'm sure he enjoys his too. This one, man, it's cold outside, but the, where it's black and the sun's hitting it is putting out all kind of heat. So it does not feel 30 degrees in here. It feels more like, I don't know, 45, maybe closer to 50. So I may get hot in this thing. All right, glasses on, notes in hand. So here we go. Uh, this is for the Stealth Camping Alliance January Challenge set by Survivor Sam. Like I said, go check his channel out. It's YouTube. Uh, listed under Survivor Sam. And this is a challenge for the Stealth Camping Alliance. So check out hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, there's a lot of videos, a lot of good channels, like I said before. Survival Sam said he was going to pick the first challenge, or the first goal, and then you pick four additional goals, for five goals. Well, like usual, I got a little carried away and I came up with a few more than five. All right, one, double my subscriber count. Uh, two, uh, do a different camping style. Three, do a cooking video. Four, review my gear that I take camping. Uh, five, better thumbnails. Six, better editing. Seven, do a collaboration camping video. Uh, number eight, do a gear giveaway. Nine, uh, do shout outs to other Stealth Camping Alliance member channels. Uh, so, number one, right now, I just checked. I am at 78 subscribers, which that's my fault because... I've been busy over the holidays and I haven't put out a lot of videos. Uh, so I think I can do something about that by making greater content, uh, more content, putting it out there. But uh, my subscriber count right now is at 78. And so my goal by the end of the year is to be at least 156. I'm hoping to be way past that, 
but that's that was his goal that he gave us to do was double our subscriber count so that would put me at 156. all right number two do different camping styles this is one i normally camp in a hammock um a tent don't normally camp in one i bought this one and i think i've camped in it twice but nothing on video uh just in the woods with a group a group of cadets that i take you know on uh survivor survivor treks and um ground team training for uh search and rescue stuff like that so i did camp in it then but none of that was on video because you know i don't i don't know as far as us being in uniform and all that how that works and i didn't have permission so i didn't video it all right but the tent is one i'm gonna start camping more uh, i'm not giving up the hammock because i love the hammock but i'll probably camp a lot more in a tent than i have and i'm gonna try something i've never tried before for one thing uh we do have black bears and when you talk cowboy camping that kind of terrifies me because i don't like black bears coming up and sniffing everything i've got without a tent around me which i don't think a tent would do any good if they wanted to get to you but it just gives you that i don't know a little bit of sense of security and even with the hammock i've got the bug net and then i've got the rain fly so that that makes a difference also but i'm gonna try cowboy camping just me in the ground. Uh, I may may put up a tarp over me depending on weather, but I plan on doing that sometime during the year. I plan on doing a cooking video, uh, like a, a hopefully a full meal cooking video sometime during the year. Uh, and then as far as reviewing my gear, I have over the over the holidays and stuff, I've been beefing up my gear, getting a little a little more gear like this right here. It's a lot warmer. Uh, trying to fix it so I can cold weather camp and be comfortable. I still like a few items, but um, I could do a, a review on the gear that I have in my pack that I take camping with me. Uh, better thumbnails. I think we can all do better thumbnails. I mean, there's lots of good ones out there. Uh, I'm not saying mine is, but as far as thumbnails go, there's always a way to step it up. So I plan on stepping up my thumbnails. Better editing. Uh, as I do it more and more, I'll get more used to it. And I think uh, my editing will get better the farther I go. So I plan on striving for better edit editing. And I wanna do a collaboration uh, collaboration stealth camp there's uh, one or two one or two different uh, channel members that are not too far away from me and I've already kind of mentioned it to one so uh, maybe maybe we can get together sometime during the spring or summer and do a, a combination hiking stealth camping video or wild camping video as you will um all right and then do gear giveaways uh, i'm ready to do that uh actually i'm at 78 so when i hit 100 subscribers i plan on doing a gear giveaway i may do one before uh we'll just i'll have to see and whenever i figure that one out i will do a short video just telling about it and announcing the giveaway but i plan on doing gear giveaways and then i know that my last goal is to do shout outs to other uh, stealth camping alliance member channels and i can start that right now so the person that got me into Stealth Camping Alliance, uh, I want to say it was Steve Wallace, but Steve Wallace got me interested in, in, interested in stealth camping, but I had no idea anything about a stealth camping alliance. 
Uh, I saw a video from Josh with the YouTube channel Hidden Hammock where he was out for a hike and went up under the bridge. I think he probably ate some candy. Josh eats candy all the time. Uh, that's, that's Josh's dinner most of the time, I believe, is a bag of candy. But um, he went under the, under the bridge, and I think that's the same one where he came out and then he announced uh, the start of the Stealth Camping Alliance. And he said to join, you make a Stealth Camping video and then you just put the hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. So I done that, got included in the, in the group of awesome members, and uh, that's how I got, really got started with the Stealth Camping Alliance. Uh, and Josh, I, Josh loves camping in a hammock. I don't know that I've ever seen Josh camp in a tent, maybe, but uh, Josh will hang a hammock anywhere so my member shout out this time is to josh with hidden hammock go look up hidden hammock on youtube um the two videos that stand out to me the most uh one was where he camped above the tunnels on the motorway uh that was an amazing camp I kind of held my breath a few times because it looked pretty steep and then the tunnels were like right below him. And also that's the one where he lost his camera. So that's one. I don't know exactly how long it was ago, but he lost his camera on that camp. The other one that stood out to me a lot that I remember vividly was when he camped out over the river and it looked like he was hanging out over the top of the river. He was, uh, looked like he was hanging out the side of a cliff or something. And he was tied to maybe a rock and a root or something like that. Josh ties to rocks all the time. Uh, anything he can tie a hammock to, he will. But anyway, when he woke up, he lost his shoe in the river. So he had to go into town and buy shoes to finish hiking. So that was another one. Don't know exactly how long ago that one was either. The best way to find it is go to the very front of Josh's YouTube videos and start watching all of them, and you'll come up on the two I'm talking about. And plus, that'll help his algorithm. Uh, another thing, when I do channel shoutouts, go to the channel, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get all their videos, uh, and like the video, and there's nothing wrong with sharing it. All that stuff helps the algorithm. And comment. Anything. Any interaction helps it helps the algorithm. Uh, and watch the video all the way through to the end. That also helps. And I try to do that on every single video I watch. I try my best to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, sharing. I can do better on sharing videos. Uh, I have started a Facebook group, uh, group page, or not group, but it's a group page called Hit, uh, Hammock Mountain. And so I'm going to start sharing all the videos on there, try to build up the membership on it. But anyway, that is my goals. And uh, I hope to get those, all of those goals done at least by the end of summer. Uh, I'm working on them now. I uh, got a gear giveaway coming, so I will announce when it's getting close to that. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. And uh, that'll get me to 100 quicker. And at 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. And uh, it's going to be a pretty neat little giveaway. I think something everybody could use. So, anyway, I'm going to shut up and lay down. It's still, I mean, it's really good and warm. I don't think I need this sleeping bag. But I've got it just in case. 
air up my pillow. Get a little air in this thing, lay my head down, and uh, get a little rest. I'm gonna take a nap, so. Be back with you in a little while. I could say goodnight, but it's daytime. So, good day don't make sense either. I'm gonna go to sleep. Hey guys, that was a good nap. So, <sighs> let's open the door and see what it looks like out there. It's too bright. And it's chilly out there. It is warm in here. Really warm. We're gonna get out of here. Uh, might make a cup of coffee. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's what it looks like outside. It's too bright. It was much better in here when it was closed up. So, yeah, that's much better. It was a good nap. Time to go now. I'm going to have to pack up. Get out of here. Get all my stuff put up. But, uh, just wanted to give a shout out to the Stealth Camping Alliance one more time. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. And uh, I think we can all, as Survival Sam said, we can all lift each other up, uh, lift each other's channels up, help promote each other's channels. And uh, I don't have many subscribers, but I'm working on that. But I may have subscribers that don't know who you are. So if I give you a shout out, maybe they'll subscribe to you. That'll be a few more maybe that you have subscribed to your channel and help your algorithm out. So anyway, just remember, if you like the videos, share them, like them, comment on them, subscribe to the channels. But that's all I've got for now. For now, I'm going to pack up and see about that cup of coffee if i've got time and then we'll get out of here all right guys all packed up as you can see there uh let's see here there is nothing left so we're gonna head back out of here Go home, make sure that the wife's up, ready to go to work. And uh, I'll have my cup of coffee at the house. If you're still with me, thanks for hanging around. Uh, if you like what I do, like, share, comment, subscribe. All right, guys. 
it's time for me to go. I'm headed out of here. You all have a good evening. Get back to the house. Get my cup of coffee. Have a good one.